Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and, well, let's recap. More than a year ago, on February 20th, 2016, I uploaded a video titled Stolen from Thingiverse by Just 3D Print It. In this video, I spoke of a possible copyright situation in the 3D printing community. Just 3D Print It was taking models and images from Thingiverse and creating eBay listings with them. At the time, Luby 3D created the model Sad Face on Thingiverse in response to Just 3D Print It taking her Aria Dragon model and posting it on eBay for sale. The Aria model was posted to Thingiverse under the Creative Commons license attribution non-commercial no derivatives. Creative Commons lists this license as its most restrictive, saying it only allows others to download your work and share them with others as long as they credit you, but they can't change them in any way or use them commercially. Luby 3 d sent a message to the Just 3 d Print It eBay account asking them to remove her Aria Dragon model for sale. They responded with, and I quote, When you uploaded your items onto Thingiverse for mass distribution, you lost all rights to them whatsoever. They entered what is known in the legal world as public domain. Luby 3 d wasn't satisfied with that response and sent a Vero or V-E-R-O copyright infringement request to eBay regarding her Aria Dragon. A few days later, eBay responded saying that they had re removed the item for sale. Luby 3D's Dragon, the Aria Dragon, was one of many different eBay listings for Just 3D Print It, and Luby 3D wasn't the only person upset that their model was being listed for sale. Eventually, all listings for Just 3D Print It were removed by eBay. Fast forward more than a year, and that brings us to today. I was walking to lunch when I got a Twitter direct message from my friend John of 3dprintnerd.com. He said, give me your email address. Just got a cease and desist letter addressed to you from Just 3D Print. Along with the text message was a screen cap of the email he had received. Just 3D Print it was asking that my stolen from Thingiverse video be removed from the internet because they had just won a defamatory case against Stratasys slash MakerBot in the Philadelphia Municipal Courts for 12,000 US dollars. I went to the Philadelphia Municipal Courts website and did a case search and found three. Just Print It Inc. sued Stratasys and the judgment was in their favor. They also sued TechCrunch and the judgment was not in their favor and they are suing 3DR Holdings Inc. which own 3dprintingindustry.com and at the time of this video, that trial has not concluded. When you go to the website and search the municipal records, there are documents attached to each of the cases and going through the website, it allows you to view these documents and you get a better picture of what Just 3D Print It is suing for. In a letter from Ryan Sims, founder CEO of Just 3D Print to Stratasys slash MakerBot, he said, among numerous false claims made by your company, you allege that my firm was engaged in violating thousands of copyrights when, in fact, we had not yet received even a single DMCA cease and desist or other formal allegation. While Ryan Sims says they did not receive any DMCA cease and desist or other formal allegations, Luby 3 d detailed on her sad face model on Thingiverse that eBay did remove their listing in response to the notice of claimed infringement that she filed. The notice comes from eBay VR, VERO program, which exists to report rights violations. The notice of claimed infringement from eBay is not, repeat, not a DMCA notice. And the VERO page describes how that can be reported as well. My question, does the eBay notice of copyright infringement not count as a formal allegation? Luby 3 d wasn't the only one to file with eBay, and eBay did remove all of Just 3D Print's listings. I'm unclear what Just 3D Print and Ryan Sims is counting as a formal allegation. Your misrepresentation of our firm caused us to lose an entire product line that was proving to be very profitable in its test phase. See Exhibit 1. Exhibit 1 is titled as Test Results from eBay Direct to Consumer Product Line and lists 56 different eBay transactions starting on September 10th, 2015 and going through February 29th, 2016. 
the 56 transactions in Exhibit 1 over the course of a little more than five months totaled $1,743.50, if my math is correct. This product line on one outlet alone, eBay.com, was projected to generate $2 million a month in gross profits within one to two years. The present value of this revenue stream over the next decade was well over $100 million and could have been as high as $200 million. The letter states, their eBay.com store was projected to make $2 million a month in gross profits in one to two years? They reference Exhibit 1 to showcase their point, but that's less than $2,000 in the span of five months. I do not know how just 3D Print It goes from under $2,000 in five months to $2 million a month in a year or two. Well, this is where we're at today. All of what I've said is available publicly, and all of the documents and links I've referenced will be in the description. I urge you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Share this video, make your own video, let's keep the conversation going. Uh, lastly, and of course, everything in this video is my opinion. I've stated things that are publicly available, I've asked questions, and anything else is just my opinion and nothing more. And with that, my opinion is that just 3D printed are in fact in violation of the Creative Commons license. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but again, that's just my opinion. Well, with that, best of luck in your research, guys. Uh, I hope you find some good information. I hope you produce your own videos. I hope you, you continue the conversation and uh, good luck. Take care of yourselves, I love you. As always, high five.